This is Mechamon from Reach Robotics. He's a, he's a four-legged uh, little uh, battle bot. Um, each leg has three degrees of freedom uh, with a, two servos in the hip and one in the knee. And it means he's kind of nimble. He can run around, he can make some motions, he can say hello to you. Uh, I'll disconnect him. So everything is controlled through a phone app. He can run around. And the idea is if you've got two of these little guys, they can battle with uh, little IR transceivers in each side. So we've got one in each major direction. And what they'll do is they'll fire IR signals at each other and we'll know when we've hit or missed. We're also working on augmented reality gaming. So uh, my particular, particular area of expertise is computer vision and augmented reality. So that's kind of where I come in. And the idea will be that we can put your Mechamon in your living room, have it interact with the space. It can battle, it can fight, it can shoot. Um, and it can do that either with another Mechamon or it can do it um, playing one of our virtual AI Mechamon as well. So he's got things like, a, I'd say he likes a bit of a dance. Um, let him finish dancing and then he can hopefully write himself. It's a bit slopey out here so he might struggle in this, in this kind of terrain. He's more of a living room uh, liver. Uh, we've got things to do with our battling. So he'll, he'll um, do kind of offensive lunges. Sometimes he's, he's got a bit of an itch, he has to scratch. We have a range of things you can play around with. You can change his body height. So on some terrains, you might want him a bit higher. Obviously, higher he is, the more he's likely to fall over. So you might also want to lower him down for stability. You can change where the legs are. So if he's on a narrow platform, oh, there we go. <laughs> if he's on a narrow platform, he can balance. Or if he's on a slope, he can fall over. We can increase how far out his stance is and obviously bring it in. It's all highly controllable through the multiple servers we've got sitting within. Obviously you and your friend can get one and they can battle, but also you might want to play by yourself using augmented reality, or you might want to teach him some move yourself. Um, one of the things we're quite keen on is that people can uh, enjoy robotics as a whole. It doesn't just have to be about the Mechamon, it's, it's, we want to inspire people and let them have fun. So. We've got uh, an app called Mechamotion where you can position the legs, you can teach him moves. You can say, all right, I want this leg here, I want this leg here. You can build up a series of movements, almost like stop animation, and the Mechamon will learn how to move between those. Hopefully coming up in the future is a visual programming um, uh, kind of language based roughly around the idea of Scratch. So you'll be able to have kids programming the robot and having fun with the robot without necessarily having to know how to get stuck deep down in the code. Uh, eventually we're also hoping to have a, an SDK that people can use to work it with the robot more in a more fine-grained way as well. I'm a computer vision engineer, so I first heard of Reach Robotics, who make the Mechamon, about four years ago when I was doing a postdoc in the Bristol Robotics Lab, uh, which was just as they were starting out there in the startup incubator there. And then it just so happened, I'd worked for it as a postdoc for a couple of years, I moved into industry, and then I just saw a job application for Reach Robotics and I thought, I, I recognise that name, and I thought, I, I looked it up and it looked like a really interesting job building uh, augmented reality around such a cool platform. They really want to inspire people. Everyone there is really passionate about making robots and making cool things. Um, it's just a, a brilliant, brilliant place. Can you show me the, the app that you've been kind of working on? Uh, so I should say this is a, a kind of development build that I've been testing on, uh, but I can show you, show you part of it. So um, what I'll do is if I disconnect the robot, I can show you some of our AR functionality. Outdoors it's a little bit untested, we're more of a living room state at the moment, but... but you're, what are you doing now? Talk us through it. So what I'm doing now is building an idea of where the ground is using some of the cutting edge augmented reality techniques that are available on mobile phones. So there's uh, AR kit and AR core libraries from Google and Apple. It's a bit too bright to see. Uh, now it's asking me to explore the play space so I can kind of look around and I don't know if you can see on the light, but it's building up uh, an idea of what's around. I'm coming to the bar just to uh, be able to see a bit better because of the bright sunshine. What I'm going to show you is our augmented reality app. So at the moment I'm building up an idea of where the ground is just by showing it a little bit of the ground space. It can map out what, what represents a ground and what represents say a wall or uh, a chair or a table. So I tell it, yes you have found the ground and then it's asking me to you know, have a look around. Uh, find where, whereabouts I can move the robot and you can see it's kind of building up a picture of what's movable ground and what, what it can't work on. Throws out some scenery elements and now we can play the game. This is something of a development build at the moment, it's still a work in progress, but the idea is I'm the silver robot, we've got the gold robot there and I can fight the gold robot using my attacks. If I was using a real robot then I would be able to take on the properties based on the kind of things that are mounted on my robot. So we have these add-ons so we can 
to put shields on and off and different numbers of shields will allow you to have different abilities in game and you can attach different weapons, different uh, rifles and these will again allow you to make different attacks within the game uh, and so if you have maybe more weapons you can carry fewer shields because of the weight, that sort of idea. And it adds a bit more strategy to the game and means it, as, you, as you kind of move on with the mech one you can build it in the way that you're interested in. Um, so the other thing is it's, it's entirely uh, modular, so we can take a leg off the robot, we can fit it back on, and it's, it's a uniform connector, so all the legs fit whichever side of the robot you're on. So the aim with the AR is that if you own a robot, but maybe your friends don't, you can still play with your robot, you don't have to be left just kind of running it around. Um, you can get uh, involved with, um, it, for in this case you can have a battle, but we're also looking at kind of more arcade style games, things like um, asteroids type games. Um, and it means that you've kind of got the scope to enjoy your robot and as we develop more games you'll be able to play more games with it, with it as well. And also the, the mode you just saw was the entirely virtual mode so you'll be able to play augmented reality games in the Me Mechamon universe without necessarily owning a Mechamon. And then there's another connector here which is a serial connector and that's going to the little IMU measurement system so I can um, basically correct the body attitude according to gravity and level the machine off. But was straight across the bottom and the screen was in, in landscape and we had the menu, the AB and the joystick buttons. 